there are Coloradans who are counting on having immunity from having COVID already to protect them from getting the virus again. Nusha Roy looks at how that natural immunity compares to the protection we get from vaccines. There have been studies that actually looked at people that had COVID at baseline and got the vaccine or got placebo. Dr. Michelle Barron at UC Health is really good at analogies, which is very helpful in this situation. She said her understanding so far is that a person's natural immunity to COVID is a lot more tailored to what happened to your body, while the vaccine is more encompassing. To understand what that really means. You know, think about your immune system as being a very highly refined military operation and sometimes when you know the threat is simple they send out the frontline troops if it's a severe attack on you then your special forces and your full army are actually engaged in this there's a difference in your immune response if you felt like you had a cold versus the full force fighting that's involved when you're in the hospital or on a ventilator that second response is one your body will remember a lot more the natural immunity response is not consistent while the vaccine is fighting full force all the time. Dr. Barron explained how she knows that. They have the benefit of designing it exactly as you want. But it isn't that straightforward. If you are exposed to a virus later on, how uh, rigorous will your body's response be? Because you have antibody means we can detect a response, but is it the right response? Is the right troops ready and re available for you? And with the variants, we haven't been able to really assess that yet. The idea is that vaccines will provide more consistent protection with the caveat that there is still a lot to learn. The question is how long will your immunity last if you've either had a vaccine or you've been naturally exposed? And the short answer is nobody knows. It does appear that the immunity so far will be at least 12 months. So the vaccines have variabilities too that impacts how well it's going to work. So that could be underlying health conditions or the variants like they were just talking about. But overall, the doctors were saying that it is showing to keep people out of the hospital and prevent a lot of people from dying. That is why doctors, as well, along with the state health department, are saying to get the vaccine even if you had COVID. And Kyle, that was something that we heard repeatedly from every person that we talked to today. Because so much of this seems individual to individual people's circumstances and also, we should note that some people who think they're going to have a very hard time with COVID have an easy go mm -hmm. and vice versa. Very healthy people get very sick. I imagine there also has to be some variability in natural immunity. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you heard the doctors talking about that too a little bit of, OK, if you were exposed to COVID, let's say a year ago or six months ago and you're exposed again, are you exposed to a different strain of COVID and how well does your body respond to that? And that's something, frankly, that they're still trying to figure out because all of this is still relatively new, Kyle. And they were saying that overall, though, because of the way the vaccine was designed, that it has a lot more broader protection and which is why they're still encouraging people to get it. All right. Thank you, Nusha.